and welcome to Mickey Art. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's party time. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> I'm in a funny mood. How does it get any better than that? And you're like, but Michelle, you're always in a funny mood. Uh-huh. You like me like that. And if you don't, you've left already. So how does it get any better than that? My target is to have fun, guys. If you want to have fun, come along and play with me. If not, and you just want to watch the painting, hit, hit mute. And if you <laughs> can't even stand the energy of me, please, please, please go find somebody who's fun for you. Because, you know what? My kind of fun is not always fun for everyone. So... What's she doing this time? I'm going to have another go at the wing pour. You guys know I give this a go every now and again. And every now and again I get another brainy idea as to what to do next. So, uh, this one, I have no idea if somebody else has done this or not. Um, this has popped into my head, so this is what I'm doing. I know I tried doing a kiss pour for wings once. Um, got pretty good results, except I stretched it too much. Seems to be a bad habit of mine. And <clears throat> recently I've done some testing, haven't I? You've seen me do testing on how much, how thick I can leave my paint. Uh, so as it's cooling down more and more, here in New Zealand, we've had a few days of torrential rain. Um, I am keen to give that another go. And what I'm going to do first off is just get these sides some paint. Okay. You guys know that that's my bugbear with these wing paws is I always try and get paint on the whole thing. And um, the wing paw itself tends not to do that. So that's what we're doing with this one right now is taking our house paint which has been mixed with Floetrol water and PVA glue. PVA glue because the house paint doesn't like being thinned down this much on its own. And I'm just putting a thin coat just on the sides. And you'll see, if you've never seen a wing pour before, you'll see why I'm doing this shortly. Um, right. So, next step is to create a bit of an angle. So I've just, I've got push pins underneath my um, my canvas to hold it up off the ground which is kind of working uh, I do that on all of them or I put them up on tins anyway so oh I just fluffed my paint didn't think I'd need a fluffer actually a D fluffer isn't it oh anyway so that's step one. Step two, I've got I've got some turquoise here. It's only a little little bit, but I only need a little little bit. I've got some burnt sienna, and this is um, got some iridescent medium in. Not really enough to do much, but it kind of gives a bit of a sparkle. And I've got some Mars Black. Now the Mars Black is going to go in first. Don't need a lot of paint for this. Oops. And then I'm going to pour in 
kind of a bit like a petal pour. Some brown. And then I might have to put this down so I can squeeze this tin. <laughs> Not really squeeze it, but kind of squeeze it. Just going to put that there on its angle. I'm looking at that burnt sienna and I think there might be some silicon in that. Which is not necessary and probably not even desirable for a wing pool. But I'm using up scraps, guys. So how does it get any better than that? So let's go back to our canvas. And I've probably got way too much paint. But that's okay too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring the white and I'm going to pour into the white the tin that's not working at all it's going to make reverse wings <laughs> maybe I need to do it the other way hmm interesting okay let's do it the other way I'm going to pour that way and pour onto that and none of us are going to be able to see the results until I stop pouring Now, we have a lot of paint falling off. <laughs> that was not my plan. And the wings are kind of happening. I think so far this is the best set of wings I've done. And I really shouldn't have done that. So I'll just pour some white down the side and they'll push that blue off, but no. No, Michelle, you should not have done that. Because it's made a nice little dent in my wings. Damaged damaged wings now. Okay. I'm just gonna drag it back up a little bit. And then put it down flat. What do you think of that? I think it could have turned out okay. <laughs> hey, darling. Hey. Come on in. Right. I like it, but I've still messed up my wings. <laughs> what else is possible? What else? I wonder how much silicon is actually in there because there are definitely some silicon spots come up. Let's put the torch on it. Somebody out there is going, no, leave it alone. I will leave it alone. I promise. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was right. 
There's definitely some silicon in there. But it's interesting. Where it's turning up and where it's not turning up. Yeah, it was definitely in the brown. But I think there was some in the turquoise as well. That's so weird. Yes, I like it. Let me get you down and show you those cells. Okay, I'm going to start at the top there. That really looks like an eye. How does it get any better than that? Well, not a wing paw, but it'd make you sing paw. <laughs> How does it get better? All right, guys, I'm going to play with this in some of the apps. And if I remember, I'll put some pictures of what I create in the end. So let's see if there's anything hiding underneath. Look at this. It's so pretty. It's moments like this that I wish I had this on a piece of cardboard. Really is pretty. I have taken photos. <laughs> this is just awesome. And the blending of the brown into the blue through here, it's yummy. I'm seeing a face or two actually. I'm seeing a um, flat nosed face here with the eye and the hair and the nostril and the mouth kind of looking there. But I'm also seeing the side of a face and the nose sort of like a Oh, that's this being the ear. Does that make sense? They're both very flat nosed. Maybe it's mum nagging in the girl's ear. Who knows? How does it get better? <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm not sure I'm going to capture any of it on on pendants though. Somebody's going to scream at me for not capturing it. But I want to capture the whole thing. Oh. I wonder if I could. Uh, be back. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out a bit, Eek. so you guys can see the whole picture. Now what I've got here is, this is, um, you know how you, what's that called? You put plastic over paper, you know, laminate. Um, this is something I laminated to use as a poster. And there's a bit off the side. I 
and I'm just going to let that fall travel hopefully not leave any air bubbles Just as if it was a cabochon. And so I'm going to have to use it as a skin. There you go, guys. I caught it. If anything, I could cut that out and stick it in a frame in the plastic. Let's see what's underneath. Leave that to dry. And look, it's made something pretty underneath. I mean, this is the size of my hand, guys, so. Let's see. Definitely some silicon action going on in there. Oh, that's pretty. That looks like a fishy. One of those floaty fishies. I wonder if you guys can hear the rain outside. We've had a lot of rain today. Autumn is here. Again, that's pretty. I'm going to take photos. I'm not sure I'm going to make any cabochons though. <laughs> Maybe just some single eye looking ones. Alright, I'm going to take some photos and then I'll be back. Alright, they've grown while I, while I was taking photos. Look at that. I wish I had an oval. I've got some coming, but that would just look cool on an oval. Alright. I'm going in. going in on that one okay so I've got a video and it's linked in the description below on how to do the cabochons cabochons are glass they're round on one side flat on another this is blue tack and a stick for a dirty stick because I keep using it with dirty hands And I got it. Look at that. Yoo-hoo. Hmm. Everything's so big. They've all grown. Let's grab another one. Down here. This one here looks like a bloodshot eye. <laughs> Should I capture it? dark looking. How's it get any better? And just one more. I mean I would love the whole thing but I'm going to go for a square one on this one I think. Just rubbing it on my sleeve to make sure that bottom part is clean and shiny.
That's pretty cool too. Well, I'm glad I picked up that one with the... What's it? That revealed some very cool cells. Yes, that would look awesome on an oval, and I don't have any ovals. I've ordered them, guys. I've ordered them. Oh, you know what I could do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do something with this, and I'm going to do it in another video. If it works, you'll see it. If not, happy Easter. <laughs> Uh, and if it does work, you'll understand that comment when you see the video. Alright guys, I adore you. I will see you in another video. No, you won't. You'll see me really shortly because I'm going to show you the dried results of this. Of what I've done so far. In three, two, one. And here it is. All nice and dry. Uh... I like it. I do, I do, I do, I do like it. Um, I can see like a swordfishy type. If I turn that round like that. Can you see my swordfish? Hmm. <laughs> it's funny. I'm not sure which way I prefer it. What do you guys see? It's almost like I've carried on my uh, oil slick and there's this little seal or something swimming through the oil slick. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I must have oil slicks on my mind. If there's a major oil slick occur around the world this week, um, don't blame me, please. But uh, honor my awareness. What's right about this we're not getting? Anyway... I like that. Now let's see how our cabochons came out. Um, one of you amazing people, and I'm really sorry, I don't write people's names down when they make great suggestions, and I apologise profusely. Um, but one of you amazing people, look at that, it's so cool. This is like a smiley face. I just seen that. Ha, <laughs> that looks so funny. Is a smiley face side on, or it could be a pearl. Or it could be an eye looking at you. Ah, ah. Um, anyway, going back to what one of you amazing people suggested was um, what they do is to clean the edges of their cabochons. Because normally I just get like my fingernail or a blade and just clean along the edges just to get the most of the paint off. And it's not always the most even. Let me see if I can get that to focus. If you can see that kind of wobbles along a little bit. Um, it's not too much of a problem because most cabochons will be glued down onto something uh, which will cover that up because you need the glue to come up the sides. But what this wonderful person suggested doing is using sandpaper and Let's move that out of the way so we don't sand on top of it. And just go around keeping your cabochon and your sandpaper on an even angle. And you get a nice clean finish. If you're brushing down like this with the paint, like holding it with the paint on the top, you're not going to accidentally tear the paint like I have done a few times cleaning up the sides of cabochons with my nail. <laughs> um, but it just breaks that line. Have I got all the way around? I don't know. It just breaks the line 
with the paint and the glass. And I'm sure you could probably sand this off as well, but I wouldn't want to sand the front piece. Um, so I would just scrape back to where that sandpaper has made that pretty little line and clean it up with your nail. But I want to show you the difference here. Look how smooth that is. If I can get it to focus on it for you. Look how smooth and even that is. I'm sure it's not perfect. You're not perfect by something that's been painted by a machine. But also what it does is it roughs up the edge of the glass a little bit, which would help with the glue adherence. And if we compare that to how uneven the edges on this one, which I use my fingernail to clean up, and you get little bits where it are just a little bit, eh, not quite. So I like that suggestion. I think I'll be using it more in the future. So there you go. I like this piece too. Look at that. That's very cool. So there you go, there is our three cabochons. I like them. I like them a lot. Now the last thing that we did was, uh, I actually I think we did that before the cabochons, but anyway, was our bit of laminated plastic. And we picked up our our lovely lady, or oh, I think she's a lady, with her mother nagging in her ear. Can you guys see that? I, <laughs> I can't unsee it now. Here she is. She's all a bit gothic with black under her eyes and looking a bit sad and down and sorrow. But mum's nagging in her ear. <laughs> How does it get better than that? <laughs> what else is possible? What if we were to invite our teenagers to a different possibility through question and then once they make a choice ask them to perceive what that will create empowering them to know what they know that's my target anyway so there we have it guys we have a painting we have a skin i'm not I'm a bit unsure whether I'm willing to try and take that off or whether I would just stick that somewhere still on its plastic because it is quite thin on there and I'm scared it would rip if I tried to peel it off but I like it I like that I like that and I like these so In the access consciousness question how does it get better than that what else is possible what else can I create beyond this now I'm always asking those questions and how does it get any better than this as soon as you say it doesn't get any better you stop the possibilities that could open up if you kept asking how does it get better so guys how does it get better than this? I wonder. I wonder, wonder who, who, who wrote the book of love. I love you guys. I adore you, adore you, adore you. So grateful for you watching. And I look forward to sharing more videos real soon. So if you've enjoyed this one, hit the subscribe button. Um, and the notification bell so that you know when I've posted a new video. Um... If you would like to come and join me on my live on Monday, my Monday, not yours, um, get your name onto my email list, which you can find at mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. Uh, there you go. There it is. Um, 
it's a lot easier than trying to edit in words um, so there you go go sign up there and I will be emailing out uh, in a couple of days to tell you what time that next live will be so uh, we're having daylight savings over this weekend so that could be quite a fun and interesting exploration I adore you guys how much fun can you have and what else is possible bye bye